Shalom. Today's devotional is taken from Luke chapter 24 verse 25. Then he said to them, O, oh, foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken. Luke chapter 24 verse 25. In many places there are believers who still think that God is mad at them whenever they fail. They simply don't have a revelation of the gospel of grace and what God unconditional love means. Like the two disciples on the road to Emmaus, such believers still do not understand the grace of our Lord and what he has done for them at the cross. Then there are believers who know about the gospel of grace and who even know that God loves them unconditionally. However, this knowing is only in their heads. When they fail, even though they have the knowledge of grace, they are nevertheless still afraid to come with boldness to God's throne of grace to receive mercy, favor, healing, and restoration. Beloved, God does not want you slow of heart to believe His promise of abundant grace and gift of righteousness to reign in this life. Knowing God's truths and the gospel of grace intellectually is not enough. You have to be quick to believe everything that Jesus has accomplished on the cross for you, especially when you are struggling with failure, guilt, and fear. God does not want you defeated because of a lack of knowledge of His grace. At the same time, He wants you to be quick in believing in His promises for you. This is why we study God's Word. It is not to merely accumulate Bible knowledge and historical facts, but to have a constant revelation of Jesus that feeds our quick and right believing in Him. And how do we do this? We can start by asking the Holy Spirit. Many times when studying the Word, I would pray this simple prayer, Holy Spirit, open my eyes to see Jesus in the Word today. That is what it is all about, seeing Jesus. When you see Him in the Scriptures through the lens of grace, faith will arise and your mind will be renewed with His truths and promises for you. My friend, you have already learned many things about God's love for you. If you want to see the power of right believing operating in every dimension of your life, I challenge you to believe in His grace, His love, His righteousness, His forgiveness, and His finished work. I promise you that you will be transformed beyond your wildest imagination if you dare to lean hard on His love for you. His love never fails. Stay blessed and have a great day.